Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and I am here to go over part 8 of the end of death. Technically, this is past the actual um, parts of the end of death. These are just additional parts. This is how they apparently... Let me check again. Right. This is how they control the existence of children. So that we don't have overpopulation problems after decreasing in population ceases entirely. Right, this is SCP-3287, also known as anti-baby gas. I have a number, 3287. Object class, Thaumiel. Secure containment procedures. At any time, no more than 50 standard regulation class E liquid gas cylinders of each type of SCP-3287 may exist. These canisters are to be stored in a vacuum sealed chamber at uh, 112 Kelvin and handled only by personnel equipped with gas-proof hazardous material suits. SCP-3287-0 is remained within one meter of the sealed container as discovered in, and its granted reality anchors regularly maintained and replaced when needed. During tests with an instance of SCP-3287, test subjects are to escorted into a designated vacuum-sealed testing area. SCP-3287 is to be pumped into the area for one minute and then recollected. Subjects are then to be escorted out of the testing area by properly equipped guards through an airlock while any the remaining SCP-3287 is to be relocated and contained. SCP-3287 may be used on humans and animal populations in the case of Omega K class and of the uh, scenario, with approval from the O5 Council and Ethics Community. Description SCP-3287 is the destination for gas sterilization Agent created by Foundation for the, the purposes of reducing and controlling the populations of certain anomalous and non anomalous animal species. Since its creation, which was for the purposes of containing the spread of SCP unknown, it has been used on blank other anomalies and certain non anomalous as animals. SCP 32087 is gaseous at room, room temperature. Liquid at 112 Kel of an and is non-flammable. It is characterized by its light blue color and a unique aroma described by subjects as similar to licorice. Upon coming in contact with the living subject, SCP-3287 dissolves, losing its gases properties properties as it is, is absorbed. SCP-3287 has three different types. Designated SV3287 and 1, SV3287 2, and SCP-3287-3. All types of SCP-3287 are nearly identical in chemical composition, but are distinguished by unique anomalous compounds that supposedly alter their effects. SCP-3287 and 1 is the first type of SCP-3287, and also the type with the most documented information. After application to a living subject, SCP-3287-1 completely sterilizes them, preventing them from being able to reproduce. This has been used to artificially preserve certain species of animals in the wild by sterilizing their predators. It has been used to prevent certain anomalous species of animals from creating offspring, as mentioned above. SCP-3287-1 may be used on humans, but requires level 4 approval before use. SCP-3287-2 is the second type of SCP-3287. Despite being similar in composition to SCP-3287-1, its function is currently unknown. Oh, I know what this is. Although tests 
While several tests have been scheduled and attempted to determine the function of SCP-3287-2, none of these were completed on account of the fact that all randomly selected D-class and animal test candidates were already sterile or before the test began. An endeavor to only select test candidates who are not sterile has not been attempted. It's because as soon as you use it, it changes the timeline so they were always sterile. And SCP-3287-3 and is the t third type of SCP-3287. There is no documentation of any attempted test with SCP-3287-3. That is because the entire person is gone now. Basically, if one makes it so that from the point of of, a, of application and onwards, they cannot uh, ought to have any kids. Two makes it so that they so that uh, their entire timeline is screwed up so they could uh, never have had any kids to begin with. And three makes it so that the a timeline is screwed up to the point where they were never born, so they could never have kids. SCP-3287-0 is designated and for the document detailing the process to create SCP-3287 in instances. SCP-3287-0 is discovered in a secure foundation chemical laboratory or at site blank on September 28th, 20 blank. During routine sanitary examination, sealed in a glass box, accompanied by a single miniaturized granted reality anchor. The instructions have been copied to the foundation set at database, along with the message discovered on the first panel page, which has been described below. Message written on SCP-3287-0. We fricked up. Con pros, negative three. Only used during bad Omega K. Rest are good. To my family, I love them. Dr. Kaido Shoga Jr. According to Foundation First No, of records, there is not a researcher by the name of Kaito Shoga Jr. employed by the Foundation. When asked, site blank director Kaito Shoga said he never had children, as he had discovered he was sterile after multiple attempts at a child with his wife. Ah, uh, he used Ooze 3287 too. Well, that was part eight. Pretty short, I know. And it's a pretty commonly known um, sterilization SCP. This is the one that when applied to someone, either makes them unable to reproduce from then on, makes them have always been unable to reproduce by messing with time, I'm or makes them not exist so they can't reproduce. It's a pretty interesting idea. Anyway, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for part nine. Please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel.